Dirty, dirty dinners, these are dirty, dirty dinners. Dirty, dirty dinners, these are dirty, dirty dinners. The food looks stinking. What were you thinking? J. Kenji Lopez Alt, a master in his field. The master of placating the masses with his delicious but pretentious stay at home dad vibes cookery YouTube sh channel. Okay, do you all know J. Kenji Alt Lopez? Get familiar with him on youtube.com slash Conor Gillespie. First of all, his name, J. Kenji Lopez Alt. Okay, let's just not spend any time talking about that and hear what the man has to say, okay? The caption of this little video is, why I say more inexpensive instead of cheaper. Now, see if you have ever heard anything more tedious than this. Nothing is more tedious than what you're about to see. Freeze frame makes him look like a demon. Yes, everyone in the comments is all like, why are you pinning me to the grind to tell me this? Hey everyone, it's Kenji. Yesterday in one of my teriyaki review videos, I referred- Teriyaki review videos. Referred to a dish as more inexpensive, which is a kind of clunky sounding phrase, but the reason I use it instead of cheaper or less expensive is because of the implications. So when- So I- thought at this point he was then going to make an argument that made any sense whatsoever. What you're about to hear is a bunch of rambling crap from someone who is desperate not to offend a single solitary soul. And it's pathetic. Kenji, you nice wee man. You bring it out me off. Sorry. Someone says cheaper, uh, they could be talking about the price, but they could also be talking about the quality of the food, and I don't want to imply anything about the quality. Um, when someone says less... Okay, point one. He doesn't want to imply anything about the quality. Oh my god. It's expensive. What that means is that typically the dish is expensive, and this one happens to be less so, which is not what I meant either. Uh, more inexpensive on the other hand, implies that the dish is typically inexpensive. Teriyaki is an inexpensive dish almost all the time. So when I say more inexpensive, what I mean is usually it's inexpensive. This one just happens to be more inexpensive. He's tripping over his own BS here. Than the other versions, and I almost just said less expensive there. Anyhow, uh, this is a thing that comes up in editorial writing all the time, journalism, you know, newspapers, magazines, and it's, I think, always interesting to think about. So anyhow, I hope that makes things a little... Oh, you're a writer, are you? That's why you do so much gab, gab, gabbin and not saying very much. Spurk level 9,000. Oh, F off, says Dougie Mill. But less unclear. Hey, everyone, it's Kenji. So let's watch it one more time, and we'll try to... I would like to unearth the reasons why he's going to this much bother to say cheap. You know what I mean? Call it cheap, but still call it good. Yesterday in one of my teriyaki review videos, I referred to... Like, it's like an apology video, this. Yesterday during the conference, I said something that may have offended some people. In a fit of anger, <laughs> I was not in my right mind. I was... Ten years ago, wasn't making the best decisions. I was high as a kite, pissed on drugs. And I made an unfortunate decision in my youth and stupor that I now regret. I regretted it then, and I still regret it now. It's like that. All of this for teriyaki, says Sarah. A dish is more inexpensive, which is a kind of clunky sounding phrase, but the reason I use it instead of cheaper... A moment of madness on Clapham Commons is wrong. ...or less expensive is because of the implications. Think about saying that. You're a YouTube chef. This guy owns restaurants. He has books. Think of that. The implications. You self-important jerk. Kenji. You self-important jerk. All this because one comment said you shouldn't denigrate the word cheap one time, probably. So we've spoken about Kenji before and, you know, he hates negative comments. He can't stand them. He battles with them, actively battles with them. 
So when someone says cheaper. So he does, he does lots and lots of explaining. I've seen multiple videos where he's trying to explain himself about the same thing because some idiot in the comments just disagreed with the way he does things. They do it differently. But he has to always one up people, make sure he scolds them, make them sound stupid for sharing their way that they do it. And he has 50 reasons. He's another he's one of these people like if you ever watch if you ever seen Steven Crowder, they've always got 50 reasons as to why they're right and everyone else is wrong. But Steven Crowder does it so blatantly, obnoxiously to spite people in their face, whereas Kanji does it in a way to try and seem like no, we're still really best friends. You could wind him up by commenting on this. You're offended. He's mansplaining. No, I did leave a comment. I left myself breaking all the rules. What did I write? I just called him a melter. I just called him a melter. I couldn't think of anything else. Let's check out these comments, though. I appreciate your thoughtful phrasing and deliberate care, Kenji. What a loser. It's similar how you might say not bad instead of good in response to how are you. Uh, I do the same. Cheap does not have the best color. They're all agreeing with him here. <sighs> so get some more hate comments here. Kenji for president. It's like the school bully pushed you down and then gave you random life advice. No, these are all very unfunny and hateable here. Uh, look, as long as you don't say more cheaper or three times less, we are going to be good, my dude. These are all Redditors, just like Kenji here. The English language is a mess, of course, because of the implication. Yeah, everybody thinks of always sunny in Philadelphia. More inexpensive is less expensive with more steps. You sound like my mom. Uh, cheaper refers to quality. More inexpensive doesn't put quality into question. Listen to these people. These people are taking this shit seriously. What about more affordable? S tier food YouTuber. Zest stand for shit. Shit's balls. What about a Goujon rap made to perfection? Five star munch in this dad like a Tessin. Lethal. Any sauce would you go raw? Sweet chili and a wee bit of coleslaw. Wait, what's the special rap? Oh brother. Let me tell you about that. Goujon's chips, curry and rice, all put in a wrap, lad. It tastes so nice. So nice. 